Although Brian Pillman had a very short career in the WWE, his runs will always be remembered as they often tended to be adult oriented. So that in itself would make it very unlikely for him to be competing in WWE now, if he was alive today. Remember his storyline involving Stone Cold Steve Austin? And I think we can all at least recall the segment where Brian Pillman pulled out a gun on Steve Austin after Austin went to Pillman's house to confront him. Austin did manage to break into Pillman's house, but just as he was confront the gun-wielding Pillman, the camera feed cut away. The WWE later apologised for the storyline. But that's not all. What about his storyline involving Goldust, where they competed to win over Marlena? Pillman managed to defeat Goldust in their feud, and subsequently won Marlena. As a result, Prime Pillman's XXX Files arose, which documented him and Marlena in a sexual relationship. Unfortunately, Brian Pillman died from a heart attack caused by a previously undetected heart condition before it could be revealed that Marlena was actually willing to participate and plan to portray Goldust. Hello ladies! That line in itself really doesn't scream out creep to you all, does it? Nah, I'm, don't, I'm just kidding, but for real, Val Venus's gimmick was literally based off an adult male porn star. His theme music was a generic version of every song ever heard in the background of 1970s adult entertainment, and he made his entrance wearing a towel. To make it even more non-PG, Val Venus's finishing move was called the Money Shot, and if you've watched the porn, which I'm sure the saintly audience that we have hasn't, you will know that the Money Shot is a sexual reference to something that normally happens towards the end of a porno. I had to research that bit, by the way. I, it, it's not like I already knew that. <laughs> yeah. In order to revamp his gimmick into something more child-friendly, Val Venus turned heel and joined the Right to Censor, a faction that sought to protect WWE viewers from non-PG content, after losing his Intercontinental Championship. With the current events that are going on today, Muhammad Hassan's gimmick as an Arab-American who was sick of the prejudice he felt in the United States is probably not the smartest gimmick to portray nowadays. It's a shame, because Muhammad Hassan was actually a good wrestler who had a lot of potential, but his career was cut short in WWE as his storyline, which involved Hassan praying until a handful of masked wrestlers wearing camo came out and attacked The Undertaker after The Undertaker defeated Davari. Unfortunately, this storyline coincided with the London bombings, which took place three days later, which led to mainstream media picking up on the story, referring to Hassan's character as a terrorist. This put pressure on the WWE to eventually drop the character. Rowdy Roddy Piper is a WWE legend, and rowdy he was. To those of you who have used the WWE Network for just $9.99, we are not getting paid to plug this by the way. Wish we were, I mean the entire channel is to do with WWE, so you know, WWE, please hit us up for business and sponsoring, um, and, uh, oh, uh, 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 back to my original point. If you have seen Roddy Piper's work, you'll know that he was not afraid to drop some derogatory terms for homosexuals, as seen in his feud with the adorable Adrian Adonis. He also referred to him as several names that definitely would not be allowed on WWE television today. A similar feud emerged later between Roddy Piper and Goldust, which was known as the Hollywood Backlot Brawl at WrestleMania 12. Although his language was a little toed down for this feud, it was still not anything you could put on modern day WWE television. All aboard the Ho Train. Yep, that doesn't set it off to a good start, does it? The Godfather was probably the most non PG gimmick out there. For a start, the Godfather was a pimp. And, in case you didn't know, a pimp is a man who controls prostitutes and arranges clients for them, taking a percentage of their earnings in return. Nice bit of trivia for you. He was even constantly surrounded by beautiful women, which he referred to as hoes, as they do in the business, and he would even offer his opponents the right to use the girls for any purpose if they would forfeit the match to him. 
Just like Val Venus, the WWE had to change directions with the Godfather's gimmick due to complaints issued by the Parents Television Council PTC. The Godfather became the Good Father and joined the right to censor RTC. Seriously, the Good Father? Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, then please be sure to hit that like button and maybe even share the video too. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, as well as what you'd like to see next. And why not subscribe to the channel if you haven't already? Lastly, to those of you who are in the notification squad, we salute you.